Hey everybody, my name's Chris with Just Keep Scuba Diving, Scuba Diving on a Budget. Today is part two of a two part, part three, I don't know, it's B of A. Today, we're gonna to talk about owning your own gear. All right, this is Chris with Just Keep Scuba Diving, Scuba Diving on a Budget, where I try to help you go diving and keep some money in our wallet at the same time so we can enjoy the sushi at Jack Akuta's in Destin. If you like what I'm doing, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and let's get going. Why in the heck would you want to own your own gear? Do you know how much this stuff costs? Yes, I do. Benefit number one, you get the freedom of go diving anytime, anywhere, that you feel like you're comfortable in doing it. Just make sure you got a dive buddy, okay? I don't want to know. Make sure you got a dive buddy. But you get the freedom of going diving anywhere, anywhere, anytime. You've got your gear, a tank's a tank. It doesn't matter, Dan, yo, doesn't matter. You, Alan Wrench fixes that. You can go to the quarry, you can go to the pool, you can go to the ocean, you can go to the gulf. You can do whatever you want to do and not have to worry about whether you have gear that fits me. Of course, I got gear, it fits me, no problem. Drawback, you own your own gear, so therefore you have to maintain your own gear. You gotta maintain your gear. Please maintain your gear. Pretty, 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 please maintain your gear. So that way we go diving and enjoy the boat ride and not have to be 911 out in the middle of the water. That's the first drawback. Second reason to own your own gear. Well, you know it. So if you train with it enough, you know all the little bells and whistles and perks and little shortcuts and all this other stuff. You know how to get in it. You know how to get out of it. You know how it works. You know how your scuba, you know how your computer works, your SPG, what it looks like. You've gone through the computer software and you know what your computer works with. You know how well your dive, you know how to operate your little free flow, anti-free flow on your regulator. Stage two, you, you know everything about it. So if something happens, you should be familiar with it to where you stop, think, act. Drawback number two. When you're out there on the boat and you haven't checked your equipment off and you've got to look at the boat captain and say, um, something ain't working, sir. And he looks at you and says, well, it ain't ours, sir. Would you like for me to fix it? Yes, sir, I would. See, you incur service problems there. Don't get me wrong. The boat captains are really good people. They really want you to dive and dive safely and all this other stuff. But that's it. I mean, you get out there on the boat. You haven't serviced your gear. You haven't hooked it up properly before you left the dock. You haven't checked it off to make sure it works right. When you get out there in the water, you're sitting on the boat. Hate to say it, but that's what you'll do. You'll sit on the boat. Okay, so that's number two. Drawback number two. Is there a plus side to number three? And is there a drawback to number three? Well, drawback to number three is toting that crap around. Oh my God. Everywhere we go, it takes up part of our trunk. Smelling, I can deal with the smell. That's what we got. That's what you got washed for. Again, that's the maintaining part. I can deal with all that. But man, lugging that crap in and out, in and out, everywhere we go. It gets tiring. It really does. But I get to go scoop wherever we go okay so anyway there you go that was why you would own so any other options anything else that you my fellow subscribers can tell me about or other video watchers can tell me about on the pros and cons on owning your own equipment comment below oh do a community tab let's do that i don't care let's talk i want to talk to people um my name is chris this is just keep scuba diving scuba diving on a budget where i try to help you scuba dive not break your wallet and enjoy some sandwiches on the beach without being broke. I mean, ramen noodles is good, but kind of sucks when you're in a beautiful place and all you can get is ramen noodles.